Since the dawn of time, man has fought man. Whether it be war or one-on-one -on -one combat, and the fighting spirit is born within every human being. And with that being said, the sport of fighting has evolved over the centuries to become a spectator event. That's why in the late 90s, the Japanese took the sport of fighting to the next level. They created Pride Fighting Championships, a venue where real men could do battle for not only the right to be called the world's best fighter, but also a competition for one's pride. The Pride Fighting Championships is the best organization in the world. It's a good event, it's a big event, you know, uh, and right now I think it's the best event ever. It's the best company, they have the best fighters, and definitely the toughest competition, so it's like, if you consider yourself a very serious fighter, that's the place to be fighting. You'll get to see a lot of different kinds of athletes doing a lot of different things, and it's, and it's entertaining. Pride's a great show, and as an organization, as a, sh as a show, as a pay-per-view event, as a live event, they've got, uh, you know, one of the premier shows on the planet. It's, uh, it's a treat to watch. Ever since the beginning, I, I can tell you that I've been a huge fan. And it's, it's nice to have seen the evolution of it, actually. Um, it's come a long, long way. In comparison to what goes on in the States, I think it's so much more honorable here. Uh, I don't know whether it's the Japanese people. I would imagine that's what it is. Uh, the Japanese fans are just being over here. Um, it's, it's totally different. Japan is the country where it all started. The samurai, it came from Japan. The Japanese people, they love the fighters. If they win or they lose, they don't care. You know, so if you are a fighter and you go to Pride, which is the biggest organization in the world, you have a chance to fight there. And then even when you lose, you're in their eyes still a winner because you're a warrior. You had the, the guts to get into the ring. That's the best feeling in the world. Within the ring of Pride, you'll find real athletes with real fighting skills. Warriors who have dedicated their lives to a particular style of fighting. All of these styles come together to prove just who is the strongest fighter in the world. And that question will be answered within the ring of Pride Fighting Championships, where real men vow to fight for their pride. The best thing that God could give me are enemies. So that pushes forward to get better and to be able to improve ourselves in order to beat them. They're very well trained. They train for situations like that every day, two or three times a day. Wins uh, make me feel very exciting, you know, complete myself. Boxing and all the other stuff, you know, that's all good and dandy, but you know, when you come to watch a Pride show, you know you're gonna see someone get their butt kicked. It's two people who choose to be there. In the ring, they sign the contract, they train, he trained, the other one trained. The fans can always expect a, a good show when they watch Friday. That's it. The fun part comes fight night when you can feel that win within your grasp. So discover what millions of fight fans already know. There's no fight like a pride fight. It's just a lot of action and, and both guys want to win. Both guys train as hard as possible. Pride's just blown up. We're going to blow this whole thing up. And it's the most basic form of competition. Now that is the allure of it. It's who's going to go down. Who's going to be the bigger man? Who's going to take damage and continue on? That's the story. If you want to see real fighting for what it really is, watch Pride. Because Pride will show you exactly what it's about. Pride Fighting Championships. You've never seen fights like these.